Over the course of the last few years, uh, these meetings have had a, a wealth of uh, presentations uh, regarding IDH inhibitors as effective therapy for myeloid malignancies. And this year is probably no exception. We have multiple abstracts and presentations on IDH inhibitors. Uh, one such presentation is uh, a, a study of the IDH inhibitors, ivocidinib and enacidinib, IDH1 and IDH2 inhibitor respectively in combination with upfront induction chemotherapy in patients with IDH mutated uh, malignancies. So relatively a high rate of response, the combination is well tolerated and we will learn more once the data is presented regarding the ultimate promise of uh, uh, the combination treatment of IDH inhibition and induction chemotherapy. But ultimately since these drugs are now approved in the relapse refractory setting, we want to further explore their promise in the upfront setting as well. Um, there is also some additional uh, data being presented at this year's meeting looking at the promise of IDH1 inhibitor in terms of not only achieving response but rendering patients transfusion independent. Much of the challenge in the treatment of myeloid malignancies, including AML, is the dependence on transfusions because MDS and AML and a lot of these diseases are ultimately failures of the bone marrow. And failure of the bone marrow leads to significant cytopenias and multiple visits to the clinic or hospitalizations uh, for transfusions. So if you have a therapy that may not get you to a response, it may, but it, even if it does not get you to a response, allows you to be less transfusion dependent or transfusion independent, that is a remarkable, in my view, a remarkable advance. And some of the data being presented at this year's meeting will look at uh, the degree and impact of transfusion independence with these therapies.